Alright, let's do this. What's up, everyone? Empowered Q is here bringing you some more League of Legends action. We were playing against some Yorick in the top lane. I think it's going to be a pretty good matchup. I think, uh, I think I can smash this Yorick. So we'll see. If I don't get completely minion blocked. Nice little trade here. Boom. Nice. Cool. So I think the big thing about this matchup is we have to dodge his E that shoots out the little mist thing. Uh, because our E does not dodge out all the ghoul damage, so that can really hurt. Oh, got the flash. Nice. Gonna push the level 2 advantage. And I can hop on him and maybe get a uh, Ignite trade in. Mmm, so good. So what's nice too is this Q gives him some healing, so the uh, Ignite is gonna prevent some of that. We got a Kane jungle, which is not the best early game jungler, so. Well, yeah, that's what we gotta worry about. Only get a ward over here. Gotta keep our Conqueror up, kill some ghouls. I think I'm gonna wait till level 3, though. So I'd like my empowered uh, W to try and go in for the finish. Oh, got the cannon. Worth it. Surprise. I'm back. See if Grace can finish it. Oh, man, that sucks. Damn, I held off. See if I could uh, push this in real quick. Maybe I could get the kill. He should just be teleporting back. Okay. That's all right. Still got his flash out, so he's going to miss out. He missed out on the cannon minion, which is huge. All right, I'm actually going to pick up Doran's Blade here. Uh, the reason being is I'm going to go hyper aggressive. So I'm going to keep being really aggressive on him. What do you pick up? Yeah, he just got some health component. So Graves got a nice ward here for me so I can see Kane coming that way. This will also give me some lifesteal, which is nice. I am planning on going for a pretty split pushy type build because that's, excuse me, Yorick's specialty. So top is pushing with no flash, so that is still a good gankable lane. So I want to trim these a little bit. A little too much going on right now. Really? Got it out, sweet. Nice. Remember he doesn't have flash. So I can poke him down, pop my potions. Let's wait for my uh, my E to come up. One of the few champions that it's really okay to kind of jump into a minion wave like this. Just back up like Graves finish, that's fine. Cool. No point in getting greedy for that kill. Baited. Not that. I want to push this in. Ready for battle. Why are you bad? You're fine. I'm not greedy. <laughs> so plan that out perfectly. So he pushed the tower in the wave. I was working on the freeze anyways for when Graves came. So nice. Good stuff. I'm going to back right here because he's going to be back soon. Kind of an awkward spot for the wave because um, it's going to slow push out. But I think this Yorick's going to push. So I'm going to be up. You know what? I like. I'm going to kill the cannon real quick. Then I'll go. Uh, normally I wouldn't advise doing this, but we are against a Kane jungle. And Kane jungle is really slow. So I'm going to back up now. So that should be too much for him to freeze. And then I'm gonna go work towards a Tiamat because I really like the extra wave clear. A little bit of health regen is super, super nice too. So it pretty much is gonna give me everything that I want. And I'm gonna look to fight him again once my ignite's up. I feel like you also kind of do this matchup the same way that you do almost like a Nasus or a Lowie type one in the essence. Like 
I don't really want to fight him while his ultimate is up because he has so much extra power, but I have a lot of disengage, so I can bait out the ultimate and then disengage. Whoopsies. So I can look to freeze this out. that much sooner, but that's okay. This is alright. This is going to be taken down by the tower. I can pop my potions. And then, uh, as soon as the maiden is dead, I can engage on him. So I don't want to do it without my conqueror active. <clears throat> oh, I panic flashed. Panic flashed. Woo! Still got him, though. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Don't judge my panic, Flash. <laughs> He's so mad. Oh, God. But yeah, so I baited out his ultimate. And as soon as that's gone, he, like I said, he loses a lot of fighting power then. So I am free to engage on him. Get the stun off right underneath the tower. And kill him. Pop the ignite. Perfect. So I can get my team at, gonna get a pair of boots and probably a little health. Definitely gonna wanna start getting a little tanky because as you could see, he started hurting. You know what, I could do it this way. Perfect. Ouch. It's not going so well in the bot lane. But I mean, Akali's doing well. And if Akali's doing well, it's we could probably hard. win. I don't remember what the cooldown is of his alt. I don't think it's that low. So I think that might be okay. Oh, crap. Wrong button. Back it up. I'll look to re-engage on him in a second. When my stun is back up. Okay. Still wrong button. A nice little poke there. Bait out that. Yeah, if I had my ignite back up, I think I could get the kill. Got out the flash. <laughs> so I'm looking for, like I said, like a Lowey and stuff like that. I'm looking for quick trades like that to whittle him down so then I can get like a quick stun kill. I think I just saw the the scuttle thing right here, so. Gonna just push this in, back, back it up. Oh, it's him. Interesting. Gonna take all that minion damage, weird. Um, something you have to do against Kane is Ward right here. Just because he could go through walls, so now I see him here. He should have backed, yeah, or not back, but want to push. Mm, just gonna let Graves kind of fight him for a second. Back it up. Nice. Good job, Graves. I got hit too late, and I couldn't jump in with the ultimate. Well, I thought he was going to run at me for the uh, the kill, and he did not, so I couldn't jump on him. So a little bit of mistiming on my E, but dead is dead. Going to go for my Phage first, get some tanky stats there, too. I'm going to have my Ignite up for next fight, too. His Flash should still be down. I have to edit. Oh, I do have timestamps. So that's about 30 seconds late. So you got about 10.30. What do you get? Okay. 
Uh, the Sapphire Crystal doesn't get him any combat stats, which is nice. So I don't think that's a really good buy. Like, when I'm playing Jackson and I only have 300, I always go for He's the uh, attack speed component. But as soon as he comes up, I can look to do one of those little jump trades. Okay, he's mid. All right, so when they do that, you don't want to miss your cannon, first of all. Uh, but you want to get pressure on the tower because now he's going to lose out on all these minions. So we want to force him to show. Now I can get some damage. Uh, I can just run up and kill him. Cool. Probably didn't need the flash, but... He's so mad. <laughs> he just used teleport too, so I might be able to get this tower and get some first tower love. Give me a nice quick item spike. This Kali's wrecking too. It is going pretty well. I'm not super worried about Kasai when we have a Defeta Kali, because she will just kill everything. Yep, first tower. Nice. I want to kill this real quick. Nice. Good shit. Gotta go get the Rift Scuttle over here, establish some uh, vision. MIA, get some coffee, and yeah, now. Mm. Sell this. Not the best, but have that. What kind of boots do I want? Get um, uh, Ninja Tabby. It's on. The only person that I would need the Merc Treads against is. Because uh, it doesn't stop knockups is the uh, Cassiopeia, but I'd rather have the damage reduction against. Uh... Ooh, that hurts. But shoot, the Kali is just gonna kill everything. <laughs> just Janna. I'll get Dragon. They don't need my help. Well, I think this one might be over. Little lag spike there, sorry. Cool. So I'll pressure some objectives. Good stuff. Grab this. I'm gonna grab bot wave. I wonder if your Rage quit. There's really no reason for me to go back. I can't buy anything valuable. But I can kill a Kassai. Cool. Just uh, try to save your Q for the... Uh... Oh, wow. Done. All right, cool. York Rage quit. Ah, to make a top laner cry like a baby. Wow, that's how you play that matchup, I guess. Whew! Uh, I'm gonna give it to the Graves. Good shit, brother. Good shit. Ah. Oh. Rank five. There we go. I am a destroyer. I am a destroyer with Jax. GG, well played. But no, I think that matchup is pretty good for Jax. The big thing is, if you you don't you want to be careful about your timing when you jump into him, because if he uses that uh, York equivalent of like the Vagar Baby Cage and you get stuck in there, he can dish out some serious damage. But if you walk up to him and auto him and then prop your E and stun him and hit him, if he uses that, you could simply just jump out. So 
like I said, it's it's a little similar to I feel like an Alawi type matchup or maybe even a Darius type matchup where you want to walk in, grab a couple quick hits, whittle them down, and jump out, and then you can pop in, pop your ignite, stun, you know, Q W, Q auto attack W proc, and pop them with a lot of damage that way. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. Really, really appreciate it and. I am Twitch streaming right now. Information for that in the description as well. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.